There was this guy who was nicknamed the Unicorn. His name was uh, Ira Einhorn. And he was basically a counterculture revolutionary in the 60s and 70s. He actually worked at a university, a very prominent university in Pennsylvania in the 60s. And he was fired because he actually admitted to the to the uh, university administration that he despised the academic world. He didn't trust the academic world. He thought that they were complicit in carrying out the government's mind control of the people. So they actually threw him out because of that and also because he was convincing the students to take LSD and to uh, basically become anti-government. Long story short, he killed his girlfriend. He killed this woman named Holly Maddox. But the thing about him is, because he was such an icon in Pennsylvania's counterculture, he developed relationships with very rich people. You know, when he went to trial for her death, he was bonded out by Barbara Bronfman, who, it, who was an heiress of the Seagram's Gin family. You know, the Brofmans, that's the family that founded Seagram's Gin in Canada. And actually, he went on the run. He went on the run after, after she paid his bond. And, and, and he stayed on the run for 23 years. And she actually came to police and admitted that she was financing him while he was moving around on the run in Europe. Okay. And then there was another set of female family members from the Seagram Gin, from the Seagram's Gin family, the Bronfmans, who years later in the 90s and early 2000s joined a cult. Her name was Claire Bronfman. Same family as the first lady, Barbara. <laughs> you know, she joined a cult called Nixum. And she supported this guy named Keith Rainier. She financially supported him. She financed his organization. And of course, as you know, Keith Rainier was convicted of um, sex trafficking of children, conspiracy, conspiracy to commit forced labor, all related to a secret society within Nixum. Nixon, his uh, cult. And not only was Claire Bronfman a part of the inner circle of this, cult, of this cult, but her sister Sarah was as well. And actually Claire is serving prison time for her association with the, with the cult. And her, yeah, and her sister Sarah was sued and she actually went to trial, but I don't know if she was actually convicted. The, her father Edgar Bronfman Sr. was forced to take classes in this cult called Nixon by, you know, her, his daughters convinced him to take a few classes and he actually was upset with it and came to the conclusion that this was a cult. He said that in 2003. So I think it's very interesting that you have three different females from the Bronfman family, the Seagram's Gin uh, family. You know, that were engaged in cults. You know, going back to the 70s, the 60s and 70s, you had Barbara Bronfman, who supported Ira Einhorn. Even when he went on a run in 1981, she paid his bond to allow him to escape. She supported him financially while he was in Europe. It took her, you know, up and it took her to like, 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 she was, she supported him for like 10 years while he was on a run. And in the, in the, in the 90s, she read a book that was released about him and finally realized that he was a murderer and he was a sadistic man because he wrote poetry about how he loved to abuse women and how he felt so spiritually spiritually fulfilled when he beat women and once she saw these writings she realized that she had been duped but then years later <laughs> her family members her young family members Sarah and Claire Bronfman, and, and, and these are all heiresses. All of these people inherited the Seagram's fortune. Million dollar people, they joined cults. So you would think that they would have the prior knowledge of their family member. 
supporting this 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 guru cult member murderer and they would be a little bit anxious about joining these organizations but unfortunately um they weren't so i just think it's very interesting if you're a drinker of seagrams if you support that company i just think it's important for you to know these things